Hey there, everyone, this is Okao playing WarioWare, the grid, and we got one grid left. I mean, we got rows of that grid left, but we got one where we're, we're, we're in the last world. It's Wario time, Mr. Guy, anything goes, let's feed Wario a hot dog. Hot dog hog! Ten points, yeah, the games are just shorter, and I love that. Eat the hot dog! Don't leave any behind! Only losers leave the table early. What about if you're done? Anyway, we're gonna munch. Wait, is this a mashing game that I forgot exists? Does this make any- No, it's not mash. Like, it sounds like mash because you read A to E and it's like, okay, but no, we gotta- mm, This looks more like a sub. Is it just me? I get more sub vibe than hot dog vibe with this thing. Oh, oh we got the middle part. Okay, so 10 points, so maybe I can- I can survive this? Because, yeah, like, uh, at level 3, that sandwich is giganto. And, you know, it takes a little bit for Wario to chew, so... Oh, I did it! Okay. You might be able to get away with just mashing? I don't know, though. So let's not, you know, let's not gamble away our youth and life immediately. Oh, but I won though, so. Okay, but yeah, it's just press a button as soon as you can, so you have enough time to do it. Oh, whoops! But then I failed on the tiny one. Yeah, well, yeah, that happened. Accurate statement there, Rao Cow. Good job. But you see, but it makes level three easier. But level one, you don't want to. So. You have to keep track of levels if you want to succeed out there in the realm of feeding giant floating genie heads that are eating giant sandwiches. Oh, there it kind of works. Let's see, can we can we just mash it? Well, we might be able to just mash it. Yeah, I see, that worked fine. All right, I mean, look, what do you eat? When do you eat? What are you doing? Strictly speaking, all you are doing is mashing those jaws together. Let's see, there it didn't work out. So, it's not super reliable, but I don't know, man. Looking at the stats, I feel like it's just as, if not reliable, as me trying to time it. So, lots of games. Lots of game gets a little bit broken if you're willing to just try a little bit less. It's a weird way to say it, but like I almost tripled my score there. Just buttons. But I didn't start with just buttons. What's this game? I don't recognize this at all. M M Wario Windsock, naturally. Turn the handle and raise the flag. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> raise it. Is that uh, like swing it? Okay, it's just, you get, you're alright. Got it. Um, very simple, just whoop, all right, and see it's a wind sock, which is a sock you use to determine the direction and intensity of the wind, uh, so sort of like one of those roosters, uh, except it's a sock. I think it's more precise, probably, because like I said, like, you can measure intensity pretty easily, because, you know, like, you can see how much, if any, that sock be wiggling. That is important scientific data, that is, whoop. I was not rotating, I was kind of mashing side to side. No, it's important to hit all four cardinal directions. Don't be lazy. Uh, but yeah, I forgot how many points. Sometimes I just don't really notice the point numbers and I'm always, huh? But this game is pretty simple though. Like I feel like in terms of area Wario level play zones, I don't know. Well, you know what? We're just gonna keep going until we're pretty sure we got somewhere. Wario's so happy to have put that sock on. Look, look how celebratory he is. It's like, yeah, I did it. Now my airport has sufficient data, maybe. Probably not. It's just, it's just funny seeing him just so excited about this. Like, why, why would Wario be excited about climate data, weather data? Like, that's just kind of fascinating to think about. Like, he's kind of dressed kind of like a pilot. But I think it's supposed to evoke more like a... Like a monster truck driver or something, I feel like. No! <laughs> Idiot. It's a, it's a bicycle. Like, he has a hog, right? Like, he has a motorcycle. Yeah, it's like one of his uh, main moves in the Smash games. 
So, uh, that's what this design evokes, apparently. Very pastel... Cycle enthusiast. Whoa, all right, all right, well, all right, at 30, I'm gonna assume that the point required were 30 or less, so I won. Flawless victory. Kinda didn't even really think about it. I mean, this is the spaghetti game, except instead of spaghetti, we got a happy little elf man, uh, put his weather sock out. Whoops. Yeah, so, uh, here at increased speed, like, I feel like the way that I'm rotating isn't registering in all the ways that the game expects it to at this, uh, increase of speed. And you know what? That's fair. You can see here I kind of adjusted. I'm now playing with the... Ooh. Like, I kind of got my thumb, like, right in there. And I'm just kind of, like, rotating my thumb, right? Which is what you're expecting. Like, normally I play with the tip of my thumb. Here I'm playing with, like... The inside of the knuckle part, like the joint, like that's like what's just kind of in there. That's kind of like what I'm moving, something, I don't know. And it's working, because it sure has put me back in control of being able to rotate these socks with all the strength of uh, three clouds slowly drifting. Except there, I didn't go fast enough. Welcome to hell. How many points was that? 15, huh? Alright. If you say so. Mix and match! 20 points! The most points I'm seeing in this yet. Reconstruct my awesome face! There's only one right way, and it's stunning. Alright. Place parts. That's weird to think about. Create! Oh. This is mash. Like, I feel like... No, yeah, like, it's a place parts and that you're summoning all the parts from heaven or at the very least off screen and just kind of slamming everything in okay I mean this is just smashing it's and it's clay it's very inspired by the exact same game in Krygor's reality system except this is Wario's face and uh, yeah he kind of looks looks like a potato at first but then everything gets placed and you're like oh that's not potato that's wario why is this 20 points i mean okay i'm guessing that banana you know like uh you only have to press the button like what four times at level one and i think here the minimum amount of button presses is bigger than that maybe i'm not sure Cause I'm just mashing, like, I'm not counting the amount of time. And I feel like if I try to count, uh, I would go too slow to actually be able to win. But okay, alright. Excellent, says a voice, that's probably Wario's. But it did not come from this clay reconstruction, unless it can communicate telepathically. Cause that mouth isn't really a mouth, like, it's not an opening with things inside. It is very clearly like a sticker just kind of put in front of it. Like, a, it, like it just kind of appears there. Like, it starts, it's not there. And then sort of like, whoop, there, you know, like a balloon, like a bubble. Just sort of reverse popping into place. And then it slides a little bit to the side as things continue to appear. Honestly, yeah, a lot of these, like, appear. Like, yeah, some of them fly in from off screen, and those are the part that are rad, but some of them really just kind of like, emerge out of the nether to suddenly be in a state of being you know that's what art is you know is it you take nothing and suddenly there's something that's how it works <laughs> that is absolutely not how it works but i'm gonna say it does in order to keep feeding the story the narrative that art is this unreachable, unattainable thing that only specific people can get up to. That is so not true. Do not believe anyone that says so. I don't think anyone says so. Vermin! Just one word, 20 points. Vermin. Smash the moles. With both your hammers. Yeah! Smash! Get them! Move. So you don't even mash, you just move? Check it out, I'm here. Okay, and he's just gonna hammer on his own. Once again, it's kind of a 9 volt game, except... What, what, what? I don't know if you can get hurt by a mole that comes out like under your feet. That'd be weird. 
I don't know, there's something kind of satisfying by the little pop. I mean, it's unfortunate that, yeah, a mole has to die here, but look. Moles are adorable, they're super cute. But it is true that they will endanger your crop. And I mean, it's not their fault. Like, if you got crop, it's food. Uh, it's a wild animal, so by default, it's just kind of always starving. It's understandable that a mole would get interested, but, you know... We also kind of have to protect our food because we're growing food to feed ourselves, right? So... Moles will be eliminated. It's, it's a survival thing. It's ugly to think about, but that's just what rural life is. Rural life is both, you know, you learn to love animals, learn to depend on animals, but you also have to realize when an animal is a pest and has to be eliminated, and you, you kind of learn to hate those animals. Animals as a bucket is just too vague to convey useful information. More data is required. Glad we got that solved. <laughs> that inquiry. Right, this game's kind of easy. Just gonna, just gonna go ahead and say it. I have a super slim Wario. Oh, that is okay. Super easy until both moles are on diametrically opposed areas of the plane that hadn't happened up to now and it's kind of rude but yeah like i was saying there's something really funny about the wario model oh then when he gets hurt he transforms into game and watch okay so is mr game and watch some kind of living dead i don't know i do not have the required data to do that evaluation but hey Wow, yeah, if they fall apart like that, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do. I'm sure there's something you can do. Like, I'm... I believe. Maybe you're just supposed to not let it happen. And place yourself in a position where that won't happen. Like, very often that's the case. That's just, that's just how it's supposed to be. It's like, you go like, what? But this is impossible. It's not... Technically, yes. But also, technically, you just did it wrong. So here we get a Wario face, and here we get a Wario face. Wario Facial! That's the name they went for! Put my face together! Oh, man, am I good looking or what? Okay, I, that's the game I thought the other face game was. It's a little design, so you want, you know, do you recognize what Wario looks like? I don't. Uh, Alright, so he's got the bushy, and there we go. Bushy eyebrows. Very thick. So it's like, oh, it's hat, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, check it out! Those are the three... The three-thirds of Wario. Oh, it's just hat only here. So sometime, okay, so the number changes, but... It's not always gonna be the same. I feel like the nose part is by far the easiest to recognize. Yeah, and look at that. One of them is... This is this gnome guy from the Olympics, and the other is like this tall gnome guy from the Olympics. Really weird, unexpected crossover. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Uh, so... Oh, uh, uh, there we go. How many points? I forget. Oh, whoops! I thought I spun it the other way around. Yeah, the spinning is opposite of how I want it to be, I just realized. Alright, it's fine. But it was there! I just didn't press the button in time, I guess. Okay, fair- I mean, fair enough, for real. But see, now I'm self-conscious because I'm afraid of spinning the wrong way. So I'm going a lot slower now, and I'm dying because of that. I am being rendered asundered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh yeah, okay. I get at least 20. No! See, like, again, like, I just wasn't sure about is left gonna turn the way I think it will or will it turn it the other way? I get mixed up. I, I was inside my own head. I just went right inside my own head today. Just, I found a door that had a sign on it that was lit up, said, hey, here's your own head, and I went in there. I remember this game being hard. I remember the timing being difficult. That Wario Kendo. Ten points, though. Don't let this guy hit me, Slippy. <laughs> that is a short one, okay. Yeah, it's like... Let's go here. Ugh. I remember the timing being rough. So I might be silenter. 
Okay, well, um, as of now, it's treating me okay. Oh, alright, okay. Well, I probably could continue, because it is 10 points of Wario, then. Kendo Knight. So, go at it earlier than I think I should. Ooh, tippy, tippy fingers. But I think, like, that's the whole point. Okay, okay. See, that's the thing with the real game, is, like, in the grid... You can adjust, like, whoa, okay, that was too early. But I, I've got a 10 point, so it's fine. Okay, now I'm just too early in general. All right, you know what? Fair enough. But see, now it's going faster, so I might be hitting the time better. Oh, no, I'm not going to, apparently. Woo, almost in your face. Right? Ah, too late. Was that too late or too early? I think I was too late. I'm not sure, but I won. Yeah, I remember this game just destroying me in the real game. But, uh, I think it's because every time I encountered it, I was, like, at the speeds around where we were there, and then I just kind of kept dying. So, yeah, and the timing is just... I, maybe I feel it's just kind of strict, but to be fair, being bopped on the head with a daikon radish, you know, trying to stop it with clapping your hands. The timing would be pretty rough there, too. So really, it's just an accurate simulation. Like all of these games today. 